Carolyn Crow is no stranger to pain. Sometimes I'll have just kind of a background dull ache, you know, all the time. Sometimes there's cramping that's so bad that it'll just kind of almost double you over in pain. The pain is caused by irritable bowel syndrome, a chronic disease that currently has no cure. UCLA gastroenterologist Emron Meyer says this disease is not the only cause of chronic pain in the body, and patients often can only suffer. One of the big things in pain research has been the failure to really come up with you know, major breakthroughs in, in treatments. In an effort to find new treatment options, Meyer is working on a new field of study that links chronic pain to biological changes in the brain. The Oppenheimer Center for Neurobiology of Stress at UCLA now houses the first standardized database for brain imaging connected to chronic pain. So I think a lot of people now agree with the concept that chronic pain is a brain disease. It may start anywhere in the body um, when you have acute pain, but it, once it becomes a chronic pain syndrome, um, it does become a brain disease. Kirsten Tillich of UCLA's Division of Digestive Diseases says the database allows doctors to take a more holistic approach to chronic pain research. One of the, the failures of Western medicine, and I think also our research approaches, is how we've diced up the human body and we've diced up research into these little, uh, these little silos that work very independently. And you'll feel the table move. move. Meyer says Western scientists are starting to look more closely at how mind, body, and environment affect each other, and his database is one example. Big data medicine and analysis is essentially doing the same thing that you know the ancient Chinese did by by observation. We do it by observing and analyzing very large data sets and trying to see. Are there patterns in there that, that hang together biologically? And new technology makes this possible. You know, when I started this type of work 10 years ago, there wasn't, we didn't have computing power to do these types of analysis. So in the brain alone, in, in the last decade, it's really exploded what we could look at. The brain scans of more than 500 patients are currently in this database, and UCLA is in the process of acquiring more. Right now, all the scans are from European and North American patients. Meyer hopes to eventually add data from Asian patients, plus other information that can help researchers understand pain and find new treatments. Images of Carolyn Crow's brain will also be in the database. She hopes one day doctors might find a cure for her chronic pain. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles. Good. Okay. So, did you have any questions?